Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about strawberries. So I have a bed of strawberries here and strawberries are a great thing because they self-propagate. You start off with one or two small plants and you end up being able to fill a whole bed like this. So you can see I've done a couple already. What happens is these tendrils get shot out from your mother plant and what you do is you put it into the ground and you end up with a whole new plant. That's what I've done over here. I've sunk this in the ground here. I will eventually snip this part off and this will become its own plant. It's already doing quite well. You can see there's lots of new growth. This one here is doing the same thing. And over here as well, actually you can see it's trying to come out another time as well. Very easy to do. You don't need to buy 20 plants to fill a bed like this buy a few and you'll see very quickly that you're able to make a lot more plants. So today I'm going to bury another one of these tendrils. And you can see this one over here. I've already planted it once but already it's shooting out some more. So what I'm going to do is I'll place it over here. What I'll do is I'll wait until there's enough spacing so I can have them at about about a 5-10 centimeter spacing and be able to spread these all out. So I'm going to put this right over here. It really is as easy as that. Now that will start showing some more growth. The tendril that's underground here will start putting out some roots. And once I've let this settle for a couple of weeks, I will cut it off from here. Actually, not over there. I'd cut it off from there. And this one here, I will cut off over there. Actually, I'll do that today because I think that this plant is all right. So, there we go. We've now got a whole new plant coming out from over there. So, let's go around and see where else we can snip off. Actually, we can plant over here this one, I think. This one's ready. So I'll put him over here. Give that a good watering in a little while. But let's go to some that I've done before and see if we can actually snip off from the mother plant. And there we go simple as that. So you also want to make sure that you get rid of any of these weeds as much as I love the ladybugs. I really don't need weeds in my garden. So let's get rid of that. So another one over here. It's amazing how quickly these pop up. Mm. 
I hope this isn't too entangled with this plant. It's probably why this plant is not doing so well because this is taking all the nutrients. You really want to encourage ladybugs in your garden, whether it's your strawberries or any other vegetables that you have. They eat all the aphids and they're really good for the plant. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll speak to you again soon.